Hi there! It's time to practice. In this video we will create working environment. We will start from the creation of Conda environment. Then we will create requirements.txt.file and install all the Python libraries we need. And finally we will create Docker Compose and specify what services we need to create in our application. Let's get down to business. First of all I will create a working directory for our project. Let's call it Taxi Monitoring. And now we can create Conda virtual environment. I will call my environment py11 because I'm going to create an environment with Python 3.11 version. Let's wait. Here we are. Now let's activate our environment. So our next step will be create requirements.txt file so that we can list all the needed Python libraries and successfully install it. I will create requirements.txt file and list all the packages we need. Basically we listed here are all the libraries we need. First of all it's prefect because we need to create uh, prefect pipelines. CQDM for some progressive bars, requests, drop libs, requests to load some data from internet using this library, drop libs to save and load then uh, Python objects, couple of libraries to work with PostgreSQL database, uh, and some libraries to work with data in Python, like evidently Pandas, NumPy, Scikit-Learn, and of course Jupyter. So let's save our requirements.txt. If you need something more, I will later come and edit this file. So let's move back to our terminal and let's install all the requirements. Yep, it's done. Now we have all needed Python packages. Our second step will be to create Docker Compose file. Docker Compose is a tool that allows us to build multi-container Docker application. So first of all, let's check if you have Docker installed to your server. I have my Docker up and running, so now I can create Docker Compose configuration file. Docker Compose configuration file is a YAML file where you can list all your services. Later, with help of one command, you can build and run all the services in your application. I go back to my text editor and create Docker Compose file. Now let's configure it. I will start from the version of Docker Compose syntax. I will use 3.7 version. Now let's specify volumes. I'm gonna need only one volume for my Grafana. The thing is that volumes is the place where I can save all my artifacts. If I down and up my Docker container again, all this data will store in this folder. So that's pretty convenient for Grafana. Especially if you want to specify the data source for Grafana or maybe some configuration for dashboards and panels. So let's set it up. One more nice to have component is networks, especially if you have your application with several services. Sometimes you want to have some services communicating between each other using one network and all the other communication between each other using the other networks. In our case, I'm gonna need two virtual networks, let's call it like this, frontier and back tier. Let's specify that. Basically, that's it. And now I can move to specifying all my services. This is gonna be database, a tool to manage content of the database, which is a miner, and dashboarding tool. So let's start. I'm gonna use Postgres, so my image is Postgres. I'm gonna restart this container every time I uh, run my Docker Compose, so I write restart always. And there is the environment variable, Postgres password. I use an example, but you can specify whatever password you want. Ports, of course, and networks. I'm not gonna access my database from browser, for example, so let's set it to operate only in back tier. And also I added an adminer, which is that tools, which will help us to manage the database content. This is pretty convenient because it works natively with Postgres. So let's add adminer. The image is adminer. We're also gonna restart this always and some ports, 8080 for example, and networks, back tier to communicate with our database and frontier because we're gonna need to access this adminer. Our last service will be Grafana. Let's specify that. For Grafana, I also need to create an image, which is Grafana. I will specify the user, 
the ports volumes because I need to store somewhere the information of where to access the data source for Grafana. I just want to need it in the Grafana interface, but if prefer to do that, this is also very welcome. So networks, both back tier and front tier, because I need to access my dashboard uh, from browser as well, and I need to uh, be able to communicate between Grafana and database. This is why I need uh, back tier. And I'm also gonna restart Grafana always. Also, I believe I need to mention one pretty important volume, which is config Grafana data sources. We are going to create config folder and this Grafana data sources config right now, because we need to list the data source for Grafana, which will be our PostgreSQL. Let's do that. I'm moving back to my terminal and creating directory config. Here we are. Now it's appeared in our Deximethrin folder. And now let's create the um, data source YAML file. I'm going to create it now in my text editor. And let's make sure we save it in the right place under right name. So it should be inside of the config directory called Grafana data sources YAML. Here we are. Now let's specify our data sources. And in our case, it will be only one data source, PostgreSQL. Here we are. So first of all, we specify the version of the config file. This, this is just the first version. And list of our data sources, which contains PostgreSQL. So name is PostgreSQL, type Postgres, access through proxy. And make sure that this port is equal to the port you specified in your Docker Compose. So in our case, it's equal. Yeah, so that's correct. And you can create some database. I would call my database test, but you can come up with more meaningful name. Uh, user, again, I will just create Postgres. And a couple of things related to data. A password is equal to example. Let's check. Yes, that's correct. And uh, SSL mode disabled. So now let's save all our configuration files. And now we need to check whether we did it correctly and our Docker Compose can allow us to, can allow us to uh, create all the uh, services. So let's move back to our terminal. And now let's try to create all these services. For doing that, I'm going to use Docker Compose command. So I write docker compose up minus minus build because I never built those containers before. And now hope for the best. Now we can see that all our containers were successfully created, but let's try to access it to it through browser and see whether we can see some interfaces. Let me start from, for example, Grafana, because that's the service we are going to interact with most. I remember that it's under port 3000, so let's go to localhost and see what we have. So yes, Grafana is successfully run, so let's access it. We know that default password and username are admin admin, so let's do that. Grafana will then ask you to create a new password, do that. And you can see that there is a Grafana interface, so here you'll be able to create new dashboard, add new panels, access your data source and play around with that. Maybe it makes sense also to take a look at Adminer. Let's try. So it operates under port 8080. And you can see that our Adminer also works safe and sound. So that's it. You can say that we successfully created our working environment. So we installed all the needed Python packages, successfully created Docker Compose file and made sure that all our services works. In the next part, we are going to create our model, load some data and start implementing monitoring for our service.